in the heart of Zambia. One man has dedicated himself to the people who placed their trust in him. Through the Constituency Development Fund, the ward councillor has transformed his community, one project at a time. This is his story. A story of commitment, hard work, and hope for a brighter future. This is Mufrida, Chirira Bombu. We are very thankful to our ward councillor. Thanks to his efforts and the support of the CBF, we now have running water from taps. We used to struggle fetching water from the well, but now, thanks to the new water system, we no longer have to. I want to take this moment to thank our councillor for bringing us clean water. We used to struggle with getting water from the well, but now we have water coming from the taps. We have never seen anything like this before. Our councillor listens to us and he delivers. And we thank our president too for making this possible. With each increase in the constituency development fund, more is done for us. Now we have hope. I am very grateful. Thanks to the Increased Constituency Development Fund, or CDF, a remarkable initiative under the leadership of Zambia's seventh president, Hakainde Hichilema, this councillor has been able to bring real, lasting change. The Open Government has continued to raise the CDF, ensuring that rural areas receive the resources they need to thrive. We are grateful to our president and our councillor for what they have done for our community. We used to rely on dirty, unclean water in the well, but now we have clean water made from the taps. We are truly thankful. In a single kilometer stretch, 10 taps deliver life, giving water to the people. Solar powered boreholes now serve schools and clinics, ensuring that no one goes without. During the very hot seasons, we used to struggle because the water in our wells would dry up. But now, we have water from the taps, and we are grateful to our councillor. The ward councillor's slogan says it all. Constituency Development Fund, CDF, a game changer. And for this community, those words ring true every day. I want to express my appreciation for the development we have received in our Zimba community, especially thanks to our ward councillor. We used to face severe water shortages, especially during the challenging dry season. But this year we haven't struggled with water. However, we do have an issue with the taps, they are not very sturdy. When children come to drink water, some even bathe there which often damages the taps. Therefore, I appeal to the government to help us by providing stronger taps. These are not just taps. They are a symbol of progress and hope. Thanks to the 7th Zambian president, Hakainde Hichilema, who increased the Constituency Development Fund. Our councillor has brought clean water directly to the people. This is change you can see and feel. Change. That is transforming lives every single day.
This is the power of change. One man, one fund, and a community united. Thanks to Zambia's seventh president, Hakainde Hichilema, and the Upton government, the Constituency Development Fund, has transformed lives here and across the nation. As the CDF continues to grow, so does the hope and potential of communities like this one. The people have spoken and the counselor has answered. One step at a time, building a future they can all be proud of. With hands, on dedication, this counselor goes beyond simply overseeing projects. He makes it a priority to personally check on each one. Here, he rides out to the solar-powered water tanks and taps, ensuring that his community has reliable access to clean water. This is leadership in action, a commitment to seeing every project through, made possible by the increased CDF under the seventh Zambian president's vision for progress. For the people, he's always there, riding alongside them toward a brighter tomorrow. We are very grateful for the work our ward councillor is doing. The road is well maintained and we're seeing good progress on the bridge, which makes us happy. However, we kindly request that once the road and bridge are completed, a borehole is dug here, as we are struggling with access to water. Water is essential, yet our wells have dried up. We have children who go to school, but preparing them without water causes delays. And it affects our homes as well. We are otherwise grateful for what President is doing for us and appreciate our counselor for visiting us and for the ongoing developments and projects in our area. Our ward councillor has visited us. He has worked hard to bring us clean water. Now we no longer have to walk miles just to fill a bucket. Water flows from taps throughout the community with a 10,000 litre tank supplying families, students and even our clinics. And we have a concern to share. Our teachers here don't have housing. You've provided us with roads, bridges, schools and clinic buildings, for which we are grateful. But we now need houses for our teachers to be built here. We don't want teachers to have to commute from town, as this can cause delays due to potential vehicle issues or high motorbike fares, making daily travel challenging. This is why we're requesting housing for teachers in our community. Spanning rivers and connecting lives, this bridge, now 90% complete, is a testament to the power of the Constituency Development Fund. Built for the people and by the people, it stands as a symbol of progress, providing safer, easier access for families, farmers, and workers. Thanks to the increased CDF, guided by our seventh Zambian president's commitment to rural development, this counselor has made it his mission to break barriers and build a stronger future for his community. This 
nearly completed classroom is more than just a building. It's a beacon of hope for every child in this community. Under the Constituency Development Fund, and with the unwavering support of President Hakainde Hichilema, this counselor has made education a reality for those who once had none. For these rural communities, it's a powerful message. You are seen, you are valued, and your future matters. With each brick laid, the promise of a better tomorrow grows stronger. This is the power of CDF. This is the care and commitment of a leader who believes in the potential of his people. We encourage you to visit us regularly so that we can express our concerns about this community school. As you mentioned, we would like this school to have a farm field prepared for farming. So it can grow its own vegetables and other food. We are happy that you have taken the time to visit us. Thank you, and we promise to visit as you've requested. That's why we're bringing this development directly to your doorstep, so the children can be educated and grow to become important people in the future, like councillors, MPs, and even presidents. This is why our president increased the CDF to 36.1 million per constituency in 2025. This money is for everyone, so let's work hand in hand with the government. What we need now is access to clean water so that the children at this school can have safe drinking water and clean toilets. That concern is already included in the 2025 CDF plan. A borehole will be installed here soon and the contractor will start work before schools reopen in January. The borehole will include a solar system, proper taps, and toilets. We can't have a beautiful structure without clean water and proper sanitation facilities. Houses for teachers and security guide will also be built here. And lastly, we will construct a wall fence around the school. Another thing, honorable, while the school is being built, my concern is the road. Please work on improving it and consider adding tarmac. We're pleading for this because there is a lot of farming activity here. And our bicycles and motorbikes struggle to carry heavy loads of two or three tons. Oh, we've been waiting for this opportunity to ask that you visit us regularly. That's why we voted for you, Honorable, to be our spokesperson. When you visit us like this, we can share our concerns we lack water, food, and good roads. All right, this has been a long journey, but next year the road works will commence. The ZNS is helping us construct the road and build the bridge that connects Kasum Bailisa, Border, and Mufurara. Once they are finished, likely by October or December, my dear parents, the schools and roads will be completed and everything will be all right. Thank you very much, and please continue the good work.
Ladies are on from Dendam Duri. I'm the area councillor in Luansobe, what can call constituency. This is CDF is a game changer. These are the some of the projects which we are doing. We are constructing a school, a one by three classroom with two offices. So these are the areas which we are doing. And then we have constructed another bridge in Muya, where even we constructed a road, a seven kilometer road, which was done by the council. And then we have got uh, another one by three classroom at Sarumingu, which we have done. CDF is working. Where we have com it is almost at 90 percent, which has been done at Sarumingo. And then we have cons we have a water retention system in my ward, which, which we have got another 10,000 liter tank, which is which is supplying about uh, one kilometer with 10 taps. Mm. After any 50 meters away, you find another tap, which is in my ward. And then we have constructed another in each school. We have got uh, Muya, Luansobe Combined School, Salomingu and Nsato, where we have constructed uh, about bores with the solar retrieval system, which is lining 24 hours service. So there's a lot of work. And then we another construction which has been done in 11 kilometers from Zimba to Salomingu, uh, Zimba to Nsato. And then there is uh, another road which has been constructed about 11 kilometers which is the road which is connecting to Kasumbaresa Road and the bridge is being done by the ZNS to work which is happening there. So come next year, this road will connect to Kasumbaresa. People will be using transportation of um, fertilizer this year. It will be very easy because we have done most of the roads. So Lady CDF is helping us. This councillor has expanded access to health care by adding a new block to the old clinic. It's a critical investment in the health and well-being of his community. A place where families can find care, where children can receive treatment, and where hope is restored. With the increased CDF, championed by President Hakainde Hichilime, rural areas like this one can now access essential services that were once out of reach. This is more than a building. It's a lifeline. A promise of better health for everyone in the ward. We are at Mindera Bridge. So this is the bridge which is being done by ZDNS. These are the works which they have done. This is under CDF. This is the bridge and the road which will be connecting to Chirirabombo Kasumbarisa Road, which we are talking by the Honorable This isn't just about water. Roads have been constructed and bridges are being built with the help of the Zambia National Service connecting lives and opportunities. The Kankayo MP, Hartson Mabeta, has assured the community that these works will soon be completed. This bridge, rising steadily, will soon connect Mufulira to the Kasambalesa border, a vital link that promises to unlock a world of opportunities for this community. Once completed, it will pave the way for faster, more efficient trade bringing farmers closer to new markets and local businesses closer to prosperity. With easier access to the border, this community will become a bustling hub of commerce and growth. The bridge isn't just a structure. It's a gateway to a stronger economy, better livelihoods, and a brighter future, thanks to the Constituency Development Fund and a commitment to progress. This project symbolizes hope, empowerment, and a new chapter for the people here. 